Kelsey's first time calling a bridge. Kelsey's hey. first lock too. It's been my first. Tell the camera how your first night was. Cold, but awesome. Saw a really bloody red moon. And we made it through the night. We made good time. We've done, what are we at now? 137. So I think we'll have done about 145 miles for a 24 hour period, which is pretty good. Just, that's not bad. Um, motored probably at least a third of it. Uh, we sailed on and off last night. But so morning, day two. It's cold again. Sun is coming up. I'm looking forward to being a lizard and letting the sun warm me up. Uh, but it's definitely warmer here than it was in Annapolis. So it's good to be going south. We're going on the inside today. We had half considered going around the outside, but there's a uh, this like little low pressure thing that's hovering off the uh, off Cape Hatteras, and we just don't want to mess with that because that's one of those things that could turn nasty and create those horror stories that you hear about for Cape Hatteras, or it could go away and just be completely normal. But since we have the option of going on the intercoastal waterway, we're gonna go on the intercoastal waterway. Since we went all night, we're hitting the intercoastal waterway, waterway right now in the morning. So we're gonna get a full day of intercoastal waterway and we might get to the Pamlico Sound this evening and we might do another overnight. But yeah, beginning of day two and it's clear skies, it's brisk, cold, fresh outside and uh, got a couple bridges to go through and a lock and then it'll be North Carolina. So let's let's do it. We're in Norfolk right now. Lots of military stuff here. Uh, big ships. Aria thinks that this weather is just sublime, right? Our sister is still here. This is my first time doing the lock, but Ryan and his dad came through here, so. Sticker Everybody still survived. There's lots of stickers. Sarah, yeah. this is your first lock. <laughs> <laughs> One years old. It's hey. Kelsey's first lock too. Woo! It's all our first lock Thumbs except Ryan. <laughs> so you can see the wa see the water by that gate swirling over there? Yeah. They're filling it. Oh. Look at you, Kira! <laughs> Look at you! Whoa, good step. That's the other key. <sighs> You're so good at that. Oh, it's opening. <laughs> Cruising, Kira. Hey, ladies. All the ladies. Hey, where's Aria? Hey! <laughs> <laughs> what you got to say? <laughs> yeah? What else? She keeps looking through the net at the bottom. It's cute. Yeah? Really? Oh, nice squat form! <laughs> what a champ! Kelsey's first time calling a bridge. North Landing Bridge, North Landing Bridge. This is southbound sailing catamaran. Honu, over. <laughs> <laughs> this will be Kelsey's first time driving through a bridge that opens. Wish me luck. <laughs> good luck. I don't want to fix any damage, so very good luck. Nice house. This is Honu. We are clear. Thanks for the opening. Welcome. Have a good day, Captain. Oh, you too, buddy. Thank you for the. Uh, We're making good progress. We are in the ICW now. We're just kind of cruising. Uh, making mediocre time, six knots, just motoring. We're going to do a little bit. We're getting ready to hit the sounds inside the Outer Banks of North Carolina. We're going to sail across the Albemarle Sound and in the dark probably and grab a spot to anchor and to keep going early in the morning. There's a low pressure system off of Cape Hatteras right now. It's not supposed to like move closer to land, but if it just moves 50 miles west, it will equal a really bad time. So if we had went gone on the outside, we'd be potentially running into that if it shifted tonight. And I just didn't want to deal with that. The other option would have been waiting for a day at Norfolk uh, for the weather for that thing to blow through and get a better weather window. But I figured we can just keep going because we can do the ICW. So let's just keep going uh, instead of waiting around because uh, we're eager to be moving. So there's a weather system that's going to be blowing through and it's going to be like uh, in like five days it's going to get down to freezing levels out here like 30, like 32 here and uh, even down so far as Charleston will be 37. 
So our goal is to get to Charleston so we can tie up at our favorite marina there, St. John's Yacht Harbor, and visit some friends. Almost the end of day two, and I think we're all a little bit tired, but we're not gonna overnight tonight, so uh, we're gonna be able to get some rest and get going early tomorrow and try to get down to Oriental, North Carolina. Cute little place. We're not really stopping to visit anywhere because we got to get going, it's cold. So we're being attacked, well not really attacked, we're being inundated by little spiders, baby spiders that have their uh, web out behind them so they can fly through the air and, I don't know, spread. Uh, but there's all these little strands of uh, spider web all over the rigging and every now and then I see little spiders crawling around, which is uh, interesting, I guess. I'll see if I can find some for you. <laughs> Sky is cool. <laughs> so, how was day two, Kelsey? Good. We went down the intercoastal way for a while. Um, this morning, coming in with all the big ships was pretty neat. Yeah, in the dark. Yeah, in the dark. We didn't get ran over. Yeah. <laughs> Um, and then getting to see a lot of nature once we kind of got through all the bridges and stuff. So that was cool. So it's pretty, it's a ch more chill day than yesterday, I think. Got uh, to take a nap. Yeah. We're going <laughs> to anchor tonight, so I think everybody's going to get some actual sleep. Uh, but first, we're going to sail across the sound. It opens up right there. I think it's like a two hour sail across it. So we'll just get that done tonight because it's open and we don't really have to worry about obstructions or anything. So, sun is going down. We have the sails up. Uh, but we're in North Carolina now. That's two states down. That's good. We're gonna find out Kelsey's first for the day. It's been my first overnight sail. Um, drove through my first bridge, went on my first lock, which I didn't even know what that was. What else did I do? I, so we, I mean, we sailed for over 24 hours, and that's definitely a first for me. I've never done that. You called so. the bridge, right? Oh, yeah, I, uh, VHF to the bridge. They told me to have a good day. <laughs> um, yeah, a lot of firsts, and I'm excited to keep learning and keep conquering more things. It's really fun out here. What do you wish to accomplish and learn at the end of this journey to the Caribbean? I think it'd be really rad to just be able to know how to get on anyone's sailboat, catamaran sailboat, and know essentially what to do and be able to, you know, assist them get wherever they want their destination to be. And I don't know, I think it would be a really unique uh, tool to have and something that I think I could take a long way. So hopefully if you guys don't throw me overboard, I could learn some stuff. <laughs> Thanks for watching today's video. See you next time.